Okay. Yo there guys, it's your boy Ryan with the 76. Hey, with the 71 over there. Anyway, today we're going to Kalahari to get some car caramel apples. You know what the best part about caramel apples is? It's the nuts, not the caramel. However though, I think, anyway, I'm gonna tell a story as well on the way there. Why know what story I'm gonna tell? You got two choices. The one about Grandpa at Disney World, or, or, oh, what about a funny one can I tell? Nothing. No, I got a better one. Don't worry, this one ain't embarrassing. There's a time, um, or the time that I was in that, or a time I farted in that grocery store. Or I got a third option. Biggest. It's a story about. Oh, who is it? I just can't remember. Stop. No. no, it was the time me and Dad were on that airplane. Oh, well, what happened? And how he, how quick it took him to fall asleep. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you just suck right out. Anyway, this was about 2015. We were, me and Dad were flying back to where we live. Anyway, we are getting on the airplane, Frontier Airlines. In Orlando. Uh, what's the name of that airport again? I can't per remember. I don't know, whatever Orlando's is. Orlando International Airport? Yeah. Yeah, anyway, we get on the plane. I sit in the window. I'm playing a game on a laptop. Anyway, my dad is in the next seat. Is he in the middle seat? Oh, he was in the seat next to me. Or was it just a two-seater? I was just thinking it was probably just a two-seater. No, because mom had to drive back. Oh, had to fly. oh yeah, we had to fly, so probably like a four-seater, probably. So I had to drive. Anyway, what what happened was I that was weighing on. You better put some earplugs in your ears, ears, boy. You wanna why? You were saying what? You gotta put some earplugs in your ears. Oh. Because of the cabin pressure, it hurts your ears. Oh, the earplugs <laughs> in your ears, okay. Anyway, right before we take off, I hear this. Is it your dad? <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. That loud, that <laughs> and the smell was horrible. However, though, luckily, I didn't smell anything because I can tolerate it. You're used to it. Yeah, I'm used to it. Uh, however, though, I I heard some people on the airplane go, oh my gosh! Yeah. And they were go, like that, like that. Anyway, we take off and then let's, uh, this is exactly what happened. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, after one last, he fell asleep. And unfortunately, this is, remind you, I am sitting right next to him. And, and I went, what the heck? Who cut the cheese in here? And then I looked at, I went, My dad just started bursting so into laughter. On the airplane too? Yes! My dad sounds like a mucus machine. Just like that. Anyway, he was asleep, but however though, I would just how to have after a well, an hour or so he woke up. Took an hour or an hour, half hour, hour and a half nap. Anyway, he went, I was looking out the window because the sights from an airplane are actually pretty good. It's pretty, ain't it? For, remind you, we were flying to Cleveland, so it's a multi-hour flight. Yeah. Anyway, that's the story of, oh, oh wait a minute, I forgot something else. Let me remind you that before, we went on the flight, we had Burger King, 
And my dad had onion rings, so I think it's probably because we had that much gas. <laughs> yeah. He cannot go to sleep for long. He cannot eat mustard. He cannot eat freaking nuts and caramel apples. However, though, I wish he would prefer, I prefer him not, not to eat that much spicy stuff because it gives him gas. And that's the story. That's the story of what happened on that airplane. Anyway, this is another story that I'm going to save for some time. It was how... Oh, what was... oh I remember now. It was how my dad farted when we were on that one Epcot ride. <laughs> that one test track ride. That ride goes 69 miles an hour, which is the Florida State speed limit. Anyway, we were on the ride. Right when we get out there, <laughs> he went. I'm enjoying enjoying the test track ride. Anyway, right when we get back to the station, went <laughs> You poor kid, you're traumatized by your father's parts. Anyway, this is what it looks like here. Here. Maui Sands. Home of the bed bugs. Thank you very much, Mom! Anyway, this is how you get... I think they chose this location because we get the Toledo and Cleveland traffic out here. You know that? Cedar Point, we go there every year. Somebody tell me how long that sign, like Erie Shores and Island sign has been up? A year and a half or something. The way that fireworks store, there is Best Budget Inn, Best Western. I think we had too many hotels in this part of it. You know that? Wait till we get there. This is a cold version of Smokey and the Bandit. I got an itchy ear. Stop it. <laughs> oh look, is that guy riding in the in a stupid version of a Trans Am? It's not Trans Am. It looks like the, that's what he's riding. No, no, no. Who does he think he is? Smokey and the Bandit? I dig it. I have to do that. Oh, look. I wonder what they're building. 